Okay, let's look at the PC application now for this unit. Uh, what I've got here now is I have the unit operating uh, on USB. And in our experience, the software is very easy to install and it should go without a hitch. Um, the instructions indicate that it's good on Windows XP, uh, Vista 7, and we're running it on 8.1 here. And we've also run it on Windows 10. Even though the instructions don't mention Windows 10, we've verified that it does work on it. And it, it works perfectly fine without any hiccups. So I think that he could say that it works on Windows 10 too. Um, anyway, when you, when you get the, the drivers loaded, uh, one of the things you can do or what you should do probably is check in device manager here. Um, and this unit will show itself in device manager under com ports and so you just expand the com port here and you should see a reference to TNC USB serial and you can leave it as uh, whatever it comes up with as the com port here and that should work okay so let's look at the application this is the main screen right here and you can see it's version 2.5 C and if you if you need to if you're finding you're not connecting um, you might have an error message up in here but at this point the device under control is this particular synth NV unit and the serial number right there um, the other thing you can check is you can make this application full screen here and go down here underneath where it shows serial port select and if you're having a, an issue connecting you can select your the com port that you saw in device manager earlier you know you can put that in there and then it'll it'll probably start up and work for you just fine like that so anyway that's that's how that is um, Let's look at the, the different features on the thing here. Uh, basically, a number of tabs at the top. Uh, here's the generator tab right here. We'll start there. And the, as I mentioned earlier, the default is a gigahertz. You can either scroll the knob around this way to change, or you can enter from the keypad here and then get your, you know, and put your number in there like that. And basically, this is just the generator. There's, there's two power scales. There's a high power and a low power scale, and they're sort of diff discontinuous. And here's an RF on and off switch here, and here's a slider. And what the slider is, is it shows the relative amount of dB output reference to the maximum output of the unit. And it'll tell you what the actual power is right here let's turn it on and you can see it says I'm, I'm, I'm minus uh, or I'm 31.5 DB DBM down from the maximum and that's actually putting out 10.84 so if I go up to here that's pretty much the maximum for that in that area like that so at this frequency that's what it can do um, the another feature on on this particular panel is scanning the USB button right here and if you have multiple units you can scan around choose a unit that you want to talk to so you can run multiple units on from this one application you just have to run them once, in a t once at a time okay so that's about it for just getting the thing connected up and seeing a, a, you know an output from the generator itself okay so then the next tab we're going to go to is the detector right here and um, at this point just give me a minute to connect up a little test circuit I have and then we can see how that works <laughs> 